Well, it's the end of a very full day, and I'm very grateful to have been alive today. Uh, I have no idea um, how to get the camera to work again. I had uh, one pre-interview webinar tonight, actually two today, if I remember correctly. I have uh, three tomorrow. But uh, yesterday I almost died. And uh, very grateful to the uh, ambulance crew and everyone who helped me uh, get through my allergic attack. And I'm also grateful to the people who have provided me with a place to stay and some food. Um, there's someone on Twitter said they were having a very difficult time sleeping tonight. Uh, they're on a third shift. I don't know why businesses still haven't opened up their eyes to realize that it is not good for people to shift from, especially a three shift um, situation. Um, it's better for people to stay on one shift steady. But uh, so we can pray about that. It also had a, um, was led to call a gentleman and pray the other day. Um, he shared with me how he and his wife had given their lives to Christ about five years ago, and uh, they uh, just celebrated their fifth anniversary, and he has come down with COVID. You know, there's a lot of people out there who are not aware that this COVID really is a real thing. There are a lot of people who have died. I'm grateful there are people who have survived, but there are a lot who have died. And um, so if you please hold Jason Housen and his family in prayer, H-O-W-S-O-N. Um, they just uh, started a um, construction business too. So they're going through a, a very tough time. Um, and you can find uh, their business on Facebook. House and on homes. I do roofing, siding, flooring, painting, and all kinds of different things. And so it's H O W S O N on H O M E S. Another person to hold in prayer, uh, revivalist George Jenkins. Uh, last Monday night, she was to speak at Only the Outreach on uh, the uh, Facebook. And uh, he was taken into hospital, and he managed to speak uh, tonight. Um, and it was an excellent uh, word that he had to share there about um, warfare, warriors, and weapons. Um, and I suggest uh, you might like to uh, listen to that. I'll be putting it on, uh, embedding that on my blog later, too. I uh, shared a little bit about uh, revivalist George Jenkins on my blog previously and how he and a group were transported through time. Um, it says, uh, signs and wonders and miracles follow that man uh, wherever he goes. And uh, he's an amazing um, preacher with a great deal of compassion. For people so I um, highly recommend you go over there and uh, take a look at what he had has to say um, and I'll be putting that on uh, the turtle dove blocks blog uh, in the next few days you know, God willing anyway when the gentleman on the Twitter there said uh, he couldn't sleep it reminded me of a song that uh, my mother and I used to sing to my daughters and I'm just going to cover my hair and uh, say a couple of words in prayer. Abiyata Kumbri Andrea Keata. Father, we lay our burdens on you and we pick up your peace. In Keata Rakotumbri Ate. In peace, everything falls that is not of you. Ama Keata. How we love peace. Arakia Marate. Arakia Mama. Mama te arandia ki amanate ramarachi biandre ki amanate 
Father, help us to know and give us a peace beyond peace as far as money goes. Help us to realize that it is not money, but what the money buys that we need. Help us to live peacefully without money. And wrap us in your arms. And give us your peace. Amen. I have lived a life of sin In this world I'm living in Yes, I've done so many things I shouldn't do I asked a stranger on the way They could show me where to stay I could find happiness that is true Across the bridge There's no more sorrow Across the bridge There's no more pain Yes, the sun will reign forever And we'll never be unhappy there again Actually, when I was singing that, it came through more that uh, I asked a stranger along the way to show me where to pray. But uh, the thing is, is we can pray anywhere, anytime. We don't need any fancy words. We don't need to be any particular place. It's all about the position of our heart. But for God sees the intentions of our hearts. As a, a joke, uh, some, somebody told me a long time ago, and I, it really <laughs> rings true for me. It's, um, man, the, the best prayers I've ever an had answered were, Lord, help me, or Lord, save me. Um, and uh, God has saved my life more than once or twice. So it's, um, I am very grateful to be alive today. I was also very grateful to be able to see a very interesting um, post from the Ottawa Messianic um, community explaining about Shavuot and Pentecost. Fascinating. I'm um, hoping to uh, be able to put that on my blog as well. Um, for uh, people to uh, see. So anyway, it looks like there's nobody here watching me. Maybe somebody will see this later. And I hope you have a good night. Uh, sleep well and dream well. God bless.